We tried out snorkeling on our first cruise a couple years ago and we absolutely loved it. So we knew we wanted to work that in on our more recent cruise and we scheduled two different snorkeling excursions, including snorkeling with sea turtles in Barbados. I've put a list of all my previous cruise videos in the description box down below, so be sure to check those out after this video, and be sure to subscribe because I upload a new video every Monday and Thursday. When you book an excursion involving actual wildlife out in the wild, be sure to remember that they are animals who move around, and there's usually a warning in the description that they cannot guarantee you will actually see that wildlife. So even though we booked an excursion called Turtle Encounter and Shipwreck Snorkel, we weren't guaranteed we would actually see a turtle. Because of those warnings, we had gone ahead and we actually booked two different excursions on this cruise that were both snorkeling and both mentioned sea turtles. At this point, we had already done the one in St. Thomas and we saw actually two sea turtles on that excursion. So we were already feeling pretty lucky. But the descriptions for these excursions will say like see special notes and you'll scroll down and it will actually tell you there that they cannot guarantee that you will see these animals. So since we'd already seen some in St. Thomas, we weren't really holding our breath that we would be that lucky twice. My St. Thomas video in the description down below shows us snorkeling with those two sea turtles and it was a pretty awesome day. And while we definitely ended up having an amazing day in Barbados, it didn't exactly go the way we'd expected. For one thing, there was the timing issue. Most of the ports that we have been to, as soon as you get off the boat, there's usually a ton to do. But in this particular case, we had time before our excursion that we had to kill, but right there in Barbados, as soon as we got off the ship, other than one like little shopping center at the actual cruise terminal, there really wasn't anything to do without catching like a cab and heading out somewhere else. There was a place to grab drinks that had free Wi-Fi though, so I think I got some sort of a flavored lemonade and we decided to try out the Wi-Fi and get back in touch with the people back home. When we cruise, we specifically do not get the ship's Wi-Fi. We are trying to actually completely disconnect and go a little bit off grid and just completely relax. So we definitely don't want to be constantly checking in with everybody at all, but we do want to make sure that we check in a little bit with friends and family and our dog sitter just in case. And on this particular cruise, we've had really bad luck, oddly enough, finding any free Wi-Fi. On our previous cruise, it never seemed to be an issue, but for some reason on this one, we hadn't really checked in a whole lot. But we did manage to get in touch with everybody in Barbados right there in the cruise terminal, so that's good to know if that's something that you're looking for. Eventually, it was time for our excursion, but the excursion bus actually ended up leaving a little bit late. Not crazy late, it wasn't something that I was super upset or worried about, but considering we weren't supposed to be getting back until like half an hour, 45 minutes before all aboard for the ship, it was something that was a little bit sad because it did mean that we were losing out on some time with our excursion. The description for this excursion was a little bit vague, so we really were just expecting for it to be a lot like our previous snorkeling excursions. All the description really mentioned was snorkeling with sea turtles and snorkeling at a shipwreck, time on a beach, and refreshments. So going by our previous experiences, we really thought that we would be walking from the ship or possibly to a, another transport that would take us to the boat for the snorkeling excursion. And then that boat would take us out somewhere, go to our snorkeling stuff, and then bring us back to a beach where we would literally just put out a towel and enjoy a little bit of time before going back to the ship. But this ended up being quite a bit more involved than that, which, yay, definitely a positive, but it took us by surprise. We were not expecting such a sort of involved experience. The bus took us to a complex called Pirate's Cove right on the beach, and an employee went over our itinerary and was explaining the day to us. And that was the first thing that got a little bit weird. Now, also around this time, my camera started acting 
kind of odd and it would just randomly change settings like in the middle of uses or while it would be shut down it would just change settings randomly to weird things and it would take me a while to figure out how to fix it because of this i've lost some footage from a couple of days including some of our pirates cove experiences so this is a little bit sad because at this point i believe i'm pretty sure i had footage of the pirates cove employees talking to each other, trying to figure out which color wristband our group was supposed to get. It's not super important yet, but it will come up again later in the day. So after they explained the itinerary and handed out wristbands, they walked us out to the beach where they loaded us directly onto a boat, which then took us to the first dive site. This dive site was very different than the ones that I have been to before. Usually they take us out somewhere, like away from the more crowded beaches, and you're out in a more wild area. Even if you see some boats around, you're not super duper close to a lot of people. This particular site was actually very close to the beach. Like, I'm not a super duper strong swimmer, but I definitely could have made it to the beach if I had needed to. And there were also, aside from the crowd of people, People on the beach there were quite a few excursion boats not just our group in the same place so the water was definitely a little more crowded than I was used to but not like completely unmanageable you could definitely move around but there were definitely a lot more people around than I have seen on previous experiences most of the turtles here did seem smaller than the two that we had seen in St. Thomas, but there were a lot of them, so it was definitely worth braving this crowd for because pretty much everyone got pretty up close to turtles at various points. But this is another kind of odd part of the excursion because our guides started feeding the turtles to draw them in to all the tourists, which pretty sure you're not supposed to do. But it did mean that we were up close to turtles on several different occasions. In fact, at one point, my husband noticed that everybody was getting pretty excited in front of him, so he turned around to see behind him what was happening and almost practically got run over by a sea turtle that was just swimming up towards him. So these particular turtles were very adapted to the large crowds and not afraid to get very close to people probably because they're getting fed on a regular basis by the tour guides. Eventually, we reboarded our ship and went to the second dive site where there was a, another shipwreck, similar again to our St. Thomas one, but this one we were in shallower water since we were so much closer to a shore, so you were able to see a little bit more detail of the ship.
And once again, the tour guides started feeding the fish that were here. So yay that we got some crazy up close, awesome experiences with the fish, but again, I'm pretty sure they're not really supposed to be doing that. After that, they loaded us all back up on the boat and took us back to Pirate's Cove. Once we got back to Pirate's Cove, we had access to beach chairs and umbrellas, which typically you're charged extra for these things, so that was a pleasant surprise, but also the wristband color that they gave us actually basically made it open bar, and you had a whole bunch of drinks that were actually included, not just like one or two, and they were definitely strong. These weren't like watered down ones that you usually get for sort of an open bar situation, so I really am starting to feel like maybe Maybe we weren't supposed to get quite as much stuff as we did. So we spent a lovely couple of hours lounging under our umbrella and sipping drinks and after the long day of the sun and all that swimming, it was definitely nice to sort of relax and unwind. Have you ever had an excursion that just went way differently than you were really expecting, whether it was good or bad? Like this one definitely ended up being a positive experience but it was not at all what we were expecting. Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a quick like, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time.